Hi Capricorn, this is going to be a general love reading for March 2022 and it's for our Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Capricorn. It is a general reading so that means it's not going to resonate for all of you but that is perfectly okay. You can check out one of your other signs if you'd like or you can book a personal reading with me and you can find all that information in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in this reading because it is general. All right, Capricorn, let's see what is going on with you for the first couple weeks of March 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the Four of Wands crossed by Strength. All right, so Leo is already showing up here. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo or you might have strong Leo in your charts. There's definitely a very strong connection here with somebody um, that you are dealing with. Um, it could be, for some of you, it could even be a marriage, or maybe it just feels like it could be a marriage. But the issue for the first half of March is possibly courage. Somebody needing the courage um, to overcome their ego, possibly, um, or just the strength in order to overcome some kind of a challenge. We'll see when we clarify. Uh, for your energy, we have the Four of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the Seven of Swords. Hmm. Okay, so you are feeling a little bit disappointed in this connection at the moment. And it's possibly that you're feeling disappointed in it feeling stagnant or in there possibly being some kind of a pause or just feels like things are not moving and to you this just feels like it's like there's just something off about it um, almost like something something doesn't make sense to you about why it's feeling like it's standing still let's see for them we have the king of cups the two of swords and the king of pentacles okay interesting so this person has two kings here and right smack in the middle the two of swords it almost feels like um, there's some kind of a contradiction going on within them and it's like it's their heart versus something in the material world and it's almost like this person is feeling like they can only have one or the other like that they would have to sacrifice their heart in order to have something from their material world or something that just feels practical to them or they would have to sacrifice something from their material world in order to follow their heart. So this is where this strength could be coming into play here, right? That could be the challenge. It feels more like it is for this person rather than for you, but again, the roles can be reversed. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the emperor. Okay, so that's actually a pretty positive way to um, close out the reading with that emperor because that does show somebody taking control and being in charge, taking charge of something which I feel is what is lacking here with strength being in the challenge position. So let's clarify. So other than Leo, yeah, I do get Aries as well, um, King of Cups, King of Pentacles, definitely water and earth signs also showing up here. So it could be just about any sign from the looks of it so far. So let's see, the Four of Wands and Strength, we have Three of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so somebody is really thinking about the future here. So it's not a question of whether somebody wants this connection, this commitment. Um, it's more of, it feels like more of a when. So it could be that this um, King of Cups and King of Pentacles being in contradiction with each other, it's more of, okay, when can these two energies actually work together and agree um, so that somebody can 
so that this person actually can move forward, all right? Because I do, I do feel like it's them and I do feel like they do want this connection with you, right? Nine of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment for them. This is something that they really desire on a deep level. And it is something that they're looking out into, like into their future when they think about their future. But there is a bit of a procrastination here. Even though we have this Knight of Swords, it's like feeling this urge to move in that direction, but it's like holding back from that, holding back from the action towards what it is that they want because they, there seems to be this contradiction here. But what I'm picking up on is that it's more about overcoming either ego, because I do get the sense that this King of Pentacles might be tied up to their ego if it's relating to the material world or just feeling like something is just not practical, like it just doesn't make sense for some reason on a practical level. It's, again, that's on the surface. It's more about actually finding the courage to overcome whatever that is. Okay, so let's see for you. Let's see that Four of Cups. The Ace of Swords and Judgment. And yeah, I just realized, let me just move the camera a little bit so we can get more of the cards in there. All right. Okay. So Ace of Swords and Judgment clarifying the Four of Cups. It could be that you have um, the, found out a truth or maybe the, whatever it is that's going on with this person, this is something that you are discovering, you are realizing, and it's like it's shouting out to you. It's giving you like this wake up call. Um, and possibly it might be actually pushing you to take some kind of an action either away from this or to do something about it. Let's see. Let's see the hanged man. Because I don't see you being very active. I actually see some passivity from your end here. Um, so we have clarifying the hanged man. We have the four of wands and we have justice. Okay, Libra energy showing up here. Um, yeah, I feel like you're, you still feel a connection here. You still feel a connection with this person. I'm getting that you definitely do want it, even though you're feeling that sense of disappointment and discovering something which... I feel is also, you know, making you feel more disappointed. Um, it's like at the moment you're feeling like the right thing to do is to just not do anything, to just wait. And again, it feels like the reason why you're feeling this way is because something just feels off to you about the other person's attitude or the other person's behavior. Um, and when I say that it feels off to you, I don't mean that you feel like they're being um, deceptive or anything like that. It's more of something just doesn't feel right to you and you feel like there might be something that you st still haven't um, uncovered about this person. Something that you haven't figured out. It's like you're having this sense of that something's going on with this person. So I'm just going to wait and see if it re reveals itself to me. Um, because I, I feel like you actually feel the connection with them. So you feel that this person wants you, which again, I'm getting that they do. So what feels off is, well then why are they, why are they in this two of swords? Why are they you know, keeping their distance or not being able to make some kind of a decision or whatever the case is here. Let's see that Seven of Swords. King of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Yeah, I feel like that's what it is because you feel like, you know, this is a person that um, you could have some kind of stability with. This is something you were looking forward to and you felt like it really could come to be. Um, yeah. Something I feel feels off to you about whatever it is that is um, their King of Pentacles, right? Like the practical aspect of them, like whatever that 
practicality is that is clashing with their heart and with their emotions, that is what is feeling off to you, even if you don't know what that is. And maybe some of you do, um, and maybe some of you don't. But I feel like you are you are pretty much spot on that, you know, something something weird is happening with this person. And so, yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can figure them out as much as possible for a general reading, at least. Let's see the King of Cups, the Chariot, and the Five of Cups. Okay, some of you might be dealing with a Cancer. Because this is a lot of water right here, all together. So their emotions want, run really deep. Um, not only that, I feel like there is something here about them not following their emotions because it could be that they're hung up on something from the past, either another past connection, something that happened to them in the past, or for some of you, it could be something um, that has happened in the past between the two of you that they might be feeling some guilt about, okay? So it's really going to depend. It's going to be different for each of you. Either way, this person feels like following their heart at the moment would be something that is, I don't know why they're seeing it in this way, but they're seeing it as irresponsible almost. Feeling like it would be irresponsible, feeling like it might be reckless, and um, again, I feel like that's associated with something from the past. Either way, it does make them feel sad. There is grief around the fact that, that they're not moving in that direction 100%. Because I'm not saying that they're not moving at all in this direction. No, it's like they're just not moving in any direction, <laughs> basically. Because there is that contradiction. But they're not moving in the other direction either. Really interesting. All right, let's see. Let's see that two of swords. The ace of pentacles and the seven of swords. Yeah, so there's that seven of swords showing up again. Um, yeah, the fact that they're not moving it, that is that is deceptive. There is something off about this contradiction that they're feeling between something practical and, and their hearts. And that is preventing them from moving in this new path. Or opening up that potential with you. Almost like not being able to see that they can actually have that. Whatever it is that is the practical aspect, whatever really is necessary and whatever it is that they need, they can actually have that. I don't know why they think they need to give up one or the other. And maybe there are certain things that do need to be given up here. Um, maybe it is some kind of a compromise and that, you know, something would need, that they would need to sacrifice um, or compromise something from their material world. But I feel like what they need, though, in their material world, they would still have that. They're just thinking that they can't. Let's see the King of Pentacles. Yeah, the Moon and the Page of Swords. There's something here that they're not seeing. They're not able to see something clearly. Um, I do feel like they might be researching it though. And it's just a matter of time before they come to some kind of a conclusion here. That really, it's it's not what they think it is. And again, I don't even know what I'm referring to here because I don't know the situation, but um, it really is just, it's more a matter of courage. Courage to overcome whatever this obstacle is here. And it just feels like, again, it's something hidden and possibly something repressed from the past, at least, that is also contributing to this. But again, um, I feel like they're exploring it. They're exploring it, even though it still feels like, the, like whatever this is, it's like it's hidden, almost like they, they don't wanna see it or they can't see it. But again, they're exploring it and I feel like that is what is leading up to the emperor. So yeah, let's actually clarify that emperor.
Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so finding some kind of a balance throughout this confusion. There's something here that is an illusion, all right? I'm getting that with the moon, which, by the way, is also Pisces energy, um, as well as the Seven of Cups. There's like some kind of an illusion, something that they're viewing distorted at the moment. I feel like in the potential outcome here, there is a balance. There is this sense of, you know what? I can have what I need. I can also move towards where my heart is guiding me and what my heart wants and also not completely lose this whatever this is in the material world and you know and for some of them even if it is something that they need to completely let go of again it's like finding that balance that well then if I can let go of that I didn't need it anyway so either way it's like still coming to that same conclusion right and then ten of pentacles this is all about commitment, um, stability, long term. Finding a way, again, it just, it mo more, mostly feels like to me, like this person actually can still have whatever this is in the material world, or at least an aspect of it, or an element of it, or whatever it is that is important that they need to have, it's still here. And so that's why we have the Emperor, because they're able to overcome this challenge so i'm not saying that this the potential album doesn't necessarily have to be um in march okay these readings are general and time is flexible right time is not rigid it's an illusion anyway so this is just the potential outcome here and where things seem to be heading all right capricorn that's a really positive ending for this reading Right, so if it resonated, let's see the final message for you. And we have the full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. So yeah, take that as it resonates. I actually feel like this is what this person is realizing, that if they have a plan, everything can be worked out. They, like I said, the practical aspect of this, they're not, they don't have to give that up 100%, or at least not in the way that they think they do. So that is the realization that this person is moving towards. All right, Capricorn, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.